In this video I am going to show you how to get yourselves a powerful sword Wing of Astel. This is a sword however it has two special attacks one being a very powerful mage attack that actually melts bosses too. I will also show you how to unlock a talisman that replenishes FP upon kill allowing you to use this mage attack continuously. The first thing you'll have to do is progress far enough in the Rani storyline to unlock Noxtella the Eternal City. If you haven't unlocked this city yet I will have a tutorial in the description below. From the grace make your way to the exact area that I do just keep following the path. I sped this portion up just to condense the video if it's too fast for you slow the playback speed of the video to 0.5 it is a very short adventure you don't have to travel far at all once you're here make sure to be careful not to fall off or get hit by this enemy's attacks you will then want to time it so he uses his projectiles then make your way over to this chest search it and there's your weapon to be completely honest if you haven't unlocked this area yet and you're debating doing so to get this weapon this is one of the weapons that i would recommend definitely getting before i show you the talisman this is the first attack this is the regular charge attack very powerful has a cool effect to it as well and this is the mage attack as you see it will disperse a bunch of orbs and they will explode constantly staggering the enemy for the talisman you will have to unlock nokron the eternal city it can be found near the mimic tier if you don't know how to get to this area i will have a link in the description as well once you're at this grace cross the bridge and follow the exact path that i take in order to enable the boss that is going to drop this talisman we will have to light six flames that being the first one take the exact path that i take on the video for a full loop and you'll be able to nail all six i sped this portion up as well just to make the video a little bit shorter if you'd like it a little bit slower like i said earlier slow the playback speed down to 0.5 learn the route learn the locations and you should be good to go even if you do by chance happen to get lost in this area looking for these flames don't worry they're fairly visible just keep running around and you should have no problem finding them this is going to be the location of the sixth one from this final sixth flame make your way east and there is going to be a staircase with a bunch of pillars with flames on top of them very hard to miss once you're here go all the way to the very end and you will see a glowing enemy on the ground go up to it interact with it and it will teleport you to the next area this is a very easy boss you shouldn't have a problem at all and just to show you how powerful the weapon is that we just got i used it on this boss as a test and it absolutely melted it once you have slayed the enemy you will get the remembrance just like you would from any other boss you can take this remembrance back to finger reader enya at the round table swap it for the talisman and there you go if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help me grow my channel drop a like before you go and consider subscribing until next time i'm out peace